So I've seen a lot of talk lately about uh, using Fonto on the iPad for um, curving text and doing offsets and design space. And um, I've seen a lot of people talk about uh, the need to upload it to another app to remove the background. So I just wanted to do a video to show you how that you can save the file in Fonto without a background instead of um, having to upload it to a third party app. So um, <laughs> that was my cat. So anyway, so you go into Fonto just like normal. So you go to, this is how I do it at least. I kind of do the same thing every time I do it. I don't know if there's a different way, but anyway. So I go to plain images and then I've never even used any of these down here, but I usually just pick the white one. It's the white or black really for this is doesn't really matter. But anyway, after you pick your uh, canvas, you're gonna go down to color and then you're gonna see alpha at the very bottom. And you're going to slide the um, toggle all the way to the left, which is going to give you that checkerboard transparent background. And then you're going to hit apply, just like normal. And then you're going to hit use, just like normal. So then you're going to have um, a transparent background. Let me change this so I can show you what it's going to look like in your uh, pictures. So after you get done with your, um, let's curve it just because we're, that's what we're talking about. Um, there we go. And then when you get ready to save it, instead of saving it as an image, you're gonna, oops, sorry. You're gonna save it as a PNG instead. And then it's gonna tell you it's saved. You're gonna go to your uh, pictures or your, um, There we go. Sorry, couldn't get it to go away. So no background. And then you can just upload this directly into Design Space.